Making quesadillas can be a fun and simple way to cook a quick Mexican dish, perfect for a meal or a snack. I'm Noah Tiefenthaler, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make some delicious cheese quesadillas. So to start, we got the ingredients for today. We got two kinds of cheese, some shredded sharp white cheddar as well as regular cheddar. We got some sour cream, salsa, tortillas of course, a little bit of butter, and then your classic pan, the perfect utensil for this delicious snack. So to start today, we're gonna take the two quesadillas and you gotta butter these suckers up. So let me show you what you're gonna be doing. To get the pan heated at first, you wanna turn it on before you get going. And then you're gonna take just a little bit of butter. This is gonna get your tortillas nice and crispy and delicious on the outside. But if you're looking to save a couple calories, you might wanna skip this step when you're going through it. So I buttered one tortilla and now I'm gonna quickly butter the other one as that pan is heating up. We're really just gonna look for a nice golden brown today uh, when we're making our quesadilla. It's something that you'd see when you go to a restaurant and order one or you know something that just you're gonna want for any of your food. Uh, that you're gonna be eating. So it's nice and buttered up. I'm gonna pop these on and quickly, very quickly everyone, you gotta get that cheese on there. And we are not skimping on the cheese today, my friends. We are going a little crazy, a little crazy. Make sure it's well spread, well spread. If something gets on the pan, that is a-okay. That's life, everybody. Life is uh, full of all kinds of fun surprises. And now you're gonna put that top uh, tortilla on there to get it nice and, uh, Nice and settled, and the cheese is gonna start melting. So uh, it's been about, what is it, nine years since I filmed the first video. I'm sure you guys have been eagerly waiting this second part, as have I. Uh, and this quesadilla, although similar to the last one, is gonna be so, so much better. And now, uh, when I was making that last video, I know I talked about uh, some Mexican food here. I'm not really uh, sure what I'm supposed to talk about now, so I'm just gonna say, uh, yeah, that we're, uh, we're doing good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a spatula, but I have one now. Uh, and we're just going to be looking for that nice golden brown on here. And no, we are not even close, ladies and gentlemen. I'll show you what it's looking like under there. No, no, no. So uh, we got to kill some more time. Um, let's see, since I was in fifth grade, I've grown a lot, uh, learned a lot of new things, got some new... Uh, hobbies and interests and just really living life. I'm gonna be senior in college now. Kind of crazy to, to think about, but just that's life changes, you know, it's, wow, this, this is, this is, this is great. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna check again. Oh, we're getting there. We're getting towards that golden crispy brown. Quick shout out to a uh, Shelly Storm, a mother of Gabe Storm and her quesadillas. This recipe I'm currently using is a modification from hers from our Super Smash Bros. Fridays. If you if you know, you know what I'm talking about. Those are some legendary quesadillas. And speaking of quesadillas, let's check this one again. <laughs> see how it's looking. Oh, that is perfection. And we're gonna flip it. Clean flip. Uh, could, it could have been a little better, but hey, that's life, ladies and gentlemen, that is life. So as we wait, the second side is gonna take a little less time, but this is just a great snack for every night of the week. Uh, and it's really, as you can see, it requires a few ingredients, a very simple, very easy cleanup. And yeah, it won't take that much longer before it's done. But you can obviously spice this one up as well. I was gonna make a chicken quesadilla tonight, but I figured I should stay a little closer to that true recipe from fifth grade, uh, because I'm a fifth grader at heart, as everyone knows. Let's check this one <laughs> out again. Oh my, we are so close. So here's what I like to do, guys. I turn off the power. Let it go a little bit longer for the boys, you know, and then we just pop it right on off, right onto our cutting board. And make sure you put the pan on the unheated side uh, so it doesn't get destroyed uh, because that's what my parents told me to do when I was a kid. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use a knife this time because when I used a pizza cutter back in fifth grade, it took me about 10 tries to get it cut. So we're going to just do one today. We're going to go bam right there. And bam, right there, simple and sweet. And now to plate this guy up, we are gonna take the plate and we're gonna do a little bit of a, uh, little bit of a uh, quesadilla engineering. And just check this out, ladies and gentlemen. We got four slices. We're gonna put a little dollop of sour cream there uh, because you know, what? Uh, is there anything in the world that sour cream doesn't make better? I don't think so. Uh, and really, there's one thing I'm forgetting, I think, 
Last time I shot this video, there was someone who taste tested it. I think it was, oh, it was my sister Hannah. Yeah, so we'll see if it passes the taste test, everybody. Let's see, Hannah, what do you think? Yum. Wow, that is great. That's just what you want to hear when you're cooking a delicious Mexican snack. And with that, everybody, that's going to wrap up our video for today. And I'm going to open it up to any questions. Thank you.